I have one very important question for you. What if you could learn how to clear and release negative energies that you absorb from other people, whether it's in one day or a month or something that you've been carrying with you your entire lifetime? What if you could learn how to release that energy within seconds? And what if you were able to learn how to master the biggest invisible thing that's preventing you from living the life you want? Because that big thing is energy. It's invisible. And it's the one thing that you don't realize is there and you pushing up against it like a invisible wall and you don't know why. I'll give you an example. Let's say you were feeling really good, your normal emotions, and you went out shopping or you went to some large crowded place. And the next thing you know, somebody may have glanced at you. You start feeling tension, um, anxiety, and you end up, you don't pay any attention. You end up going home and that negative energy is continuing to affect you. You might have felt some tension in your stomach. You may have felt nauseous. You may have felt anxious or frustrated or edgy, and you didn't know why. What happens is that negative energy is continuing to affect you and it continues to affect decisions you make and how you live your life. It affects maybe how your heart rate is. It beats fast. It ends up affecting relationships and your overall well-being. And just think about it. That was just a perfect stranger and you might not have even talked. So can you imagine how much energy from your childhood, all the situations that you've experienced, how much of that you're carrying with you today and how it's affecting you, that's just an example of how energy might be holding you back. And it affects everybody. But once you learn how to master the energy and release the energetic blocks, it can feel like you go from zero to 60 in a snap. And the reason it works so fast is because we're working at the core. We're going to the root of the issue. Some people say to me that it almost feels like it's magic or overnight success. And it can feel like that. However, if you're trying to change things or make things happen with your mind or your emotions, I know I've done it. It's like spent years and decades trying to get somewhere. And it's like, am I there yet? And maybe you can relate to that. So energy is the fastest way to get what you want. And energy blocks are the biggest thing that are preventing you from getting everything you want. So what if in one day I showed you the best tools, the best methods, the best exercises and practice and ways that you can get the things that you want, whether it's abundance, whether it's changes in your relationship, whether it's a career shift or just feeling better about yourself, or whether it's you identifying what your life purpose is and being on purpose or enhancing your psychic or spiritual abilities. Whatever you want, it could come to you quickly. Would you like that? Would you want to learn how to do all of that in just one day in the comfort of your own home? If you do, then this is the most important video you're going to watch. Hi, my name is Amira Hall and I've been a personal development junkie for most of my life. And I've been on my own spiritual path for over 40 years now. I've always wanted to feel better, do better, have more success. I've always wanted to have the experience of total freedom in everything that I did. I wanted it in all areas of my life, in abundance and in love, and I've done it. But it took me a long time to get there, decades and years. I would work on my mind and I would work on my emotions. And I did see some results and things did improve, but it wasn't until I had a near-death experience in Egypt where I learned the underlying secrets behind how to have a continuous flow and to be able to command and change adverse situations on a dime. I'll give you an example. When I was a kid, I was incredibly sensitive and I always wanted to be friends with everybody. At home, um, it was a very dysfunctional environment. And I was very, very sensitive. I was the one trying to create the harmony that didn't exist and always trying to make everybody happy. But what I didn't realize is that I was absorbing all of these energies. And then when I was out in the playground or at school, when someone rejected me or didn't want to be friends, I would come home crying and I was heartbroken. I felt abandoned and rejected. 
And it was a continual cycle like this of me trying to prove my worth or trying to prove my, my value to others. This became so hurtful and painful that I started to spend more and more time alone. And I hid in my room. I would do quiet projects. I was quite content doing that because in my mind, I made it so that I couldn't trust people or they were going to hurt me. Or, and I started to close myself down. I was terrified if the teacher called on me. I was an excellent student, but don't dare ask me because I would just go into this fright. And years later, I remember even taking some speaker training. And before it was time for me to present, I was just in a total meltdown for like hours before and then the whole day after. So energy was affecting me constantly and I didn't understand what was really going on. Growing up, the energies got so intense for me so many times in, in my family that I plotted to run away. In fact, I even stayed at a friend's house for several weeks because I couldn't stand the environment. So when I decided that people weren't safe, I had that mental block. And what ended up happening was I attracted situations and people and toxic environments, situations that where people were takers or or they were narcissistic or dysfunctional. They weren't environments that supported me in being myself. I continued to create environments just like what I grew up in and didn't know how this was happening. And again, another layer upon making myself feel worse because of it. So years of playing it safe, I had this mental limiting belief that I couldn't speak up, that uh, my emotions were bad and that I couldn't trust others. In repressing the spirit and who I am and my own internal voice, I started feeling resentful. Depression amplified. And I had these cycles of that uh, that were debilitating for me. And here's what I started to realize. It took me years after to rewire those patterns that were negative and definitely attracting things that I didn't want in my life. And what I realized until I resolved these emotions that I wouldn't even move the needle, that nothing in my life would really change. I'd continue that cycle that was destructive and definitely a dark place. It wasn't until I had that near-death experience that I started to understand the deeper level and that it was my energy field that was actually blocking what I truly wanted to make, to fulfill me. And that was life-changing for me, is to realize that I could use some techniques to release that energy and totally turn everything in the right direction. And the reason I say that energy is the most powerful thing is because it's the one thing that we are. We're not taught that we are energy. It's the one thing, the truth of who we are, but nobody's taught us how to manage it. And because it's invisible, we don't take it seriously. Or because it's not obvious, we ignore it. And at the same time, think about it. Air is invisible. We breathe it. It's absolutely necessary for our survival. And if we don't have access to oxygen or to air, we sure pay attention to it, don't we? We don't think about our heart that beats maybe up to 100 times a minute. But if you've got some chest pain or issues with your heart, then it becomes the most important thing to you, right? So the same thing is true with your energy. Um, I didn't realize that when I was at home crying, it had to do with the energetics. I didn't realize it was foreign energies that were invading my energy field. And little did I know that those energetic imprints were creating energetic blocks that triggered beliefs about myself as I'm not good enough or people can't be trusted or I'll never amount to anything. And that those vibrations were setting up a frequency and a pattern that would attract dysfunctional and toxic situations and people into my life. Not only that, the energy reinforced the traumatic events that initially set that energy in place. And those emotions, again, have a certain frequency and they have a particular vibration, a low vibration, and that reinforced my actions. I want to shut down my heart, play safe, and hide. And those actions and decisions have a particular frequency and a vibration. So now I've got this giant energy block 
in my heart, in my throat, in my ability to express myself, to be seen, to follow my path or my truth. The block in my heart prevents me from really feeling good about myself and trusting my purpose and being present. You name it, it creates energetic blocks all throughout the aura and the body. So here's the thing with energy. Um, energy attracts its match at the same vibration. So I started attracting toxic situations, the home environment, relationships, work situations that were toxic and were definitely dysfunctional um, because it was all matching that particular energy frequency. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out. I didn't know it existed. It was over 30 years ago when things got really, really bad for me. I was going through the deepest pain and the trauma um, that a person can go through. Uh, my marriage crumbled and my dad died. And then I was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, autoimmune illness. The doctor told me, and the, I'll never forget that his words were imprinted in my mind, death or wheelchair, you pick. Well, being depressed now for weeks on end and ready to die, I was so debilitated and weak, I couldn't crawl into my kitchen to make myself a cup of tea. I was alone, I had no family, I had very few friends here. Um, and yeah, you bet, bloody hell. I was angry, I was depressed, and I was resentful that all of this had happened to me. On top of all that, I was grieving. Grieving for my dad, but grieving for the life I didn't even have. It became a mushroom cloud, an explosion. I couldn't even drive to work. I'd end up getting on the freeway and having this grand mall meltdown where I would just you know, dump and I was completely debilitated. Um, before you know it, I got fired from my job because um, I couldn't work. What else could go wrong, right? It wasn't until I finally hit rock bottom in total despair that I finally found a healer that told me that my key to well being was bringing back emotional balance. And I began working on my emotional blocks that took me through a journey of yoga and meditation and let's see vision boarding and table tipping and mindfulness practice and religious science and the course in miracles chiropractic acupuncture i did it all i tried a gazillion different modalities slowly i started to regain myself feeling stronger more enthusiastic more positive and i began launching several entrepreneurial ventures until I got to a point where I manifested this amazing job. And in one year, I made more money than I had ever made in my entire life. And I was flying high. Well, but then something was nudging me. It was like something was missing. Yeah, the money was great. Yes, I had this amazing freedom and my health was restored. And that's when I started feeling the calling for a spiritual pilgrimage. And I took a journey to Peru and worked in the jungle with a shaman where i had a vision that i was a star seed coming through a stargate to early egypt and in that moment i knew i needed to travel to egypt the following year i found myself on a spiritual journey to egypt and i have to tell you it was the most magical transformational journey and experience of my entire spiritual search for myself and it was after the spiritual pilgrimage that I had my near-death experience outside the Valley of the Kings that radically changed my life forever. And it was after that time that I found myself stuck in a dimension of fear and anger and grief and lack. And I didn't know what happened to me while I was in that experience. I went to 10 different psychics trying to find out what happened to me. They all told me something different. And that really ticked me off because it felt like I was stuck in this cycle and I was all the way back to square one. And it was then that I met another really gifted healer that told me I had stuck energy. And when I learned that my stuck energy were energetic blocks that were keeping me stuck in depression or in lack or um, sick all these years, and that were the responsible for me not knowing or connecting with my purpose, that was a game changer. 
because I was so familiar with so many other different types of modalities. And at the time I was getting these energetic downloads and information from my experience in Egypt that I was desperate to find out what happened to me. And I knew I needed to approach it from a completely different perspective. I found a teacher that shared with me some basic principles and coupled with the information that I was downloading from my near-death experience, I started to piece it all together and begin practicing and, and working with these new tools. I didn't know where it was going or where it was taking me. I had no clue. I was doing it purely out of survival. I remember being so skeptical. I didn't really know if anything was really happening or how effective it was, but I was so desperate for a shift and for the pain to stop that I was ready to do anything. After all, I had tried all these other different modalities with limited results. So I was all in, I was ready to do whatever it took. What happened was I started receiving more and more downloads from my experience about the dynamics of energy and the, the cause of my suffering. And I was able to start moving energy blocks much quicker. And I noticed myself starting to bounce back. I started feeling more creative, inspired, enthusiastic, more social, more open to trying something different. And my friends noticed that there were some shifts in me too. As my vibration started to rise, I noticed that I started attracting new higher vibration relationships into my life, supportive people, people that valued me and appreciated me. I started feeling more hopeful and started new projects. And before you know it, things showed up in my life that I never would have expected. And to this day, I'm so amused because spirit launched me into reading auras through coffee grounds in coffee shops around San Diego. So it never ceases to amaze me how spirit works in our life to get us onto a new path. And that's the power of releasing blocks. The things that you don't want start falling away. And the things that you do want start showing up really fast. And that's what I'd like to show you. I've created this wonderful one day event where you can actually learn how to master releasing energies and be able to move forward. And I'm gonna end with this analogy of how you can master your energy. It's like getting to an island. When you unblock yourself, it's like learning how to get to the island. And what's the island? Well, for most people, they spend their life trying to get to the island. They spend their life treading water or spending it in anxiety and overwhelm and frustration, exhausting themselves, buried in resentment. And they settle for that. And that's all they know, so they continue the process. They spend their whole life treading water and just getting by. Take a step forward, but two steps back. They don't really progress. Sure, they create things, but they also create problems to go along with them. Maybe you can relate to that. It's this whole living in duality thing. And most people don't realize that there's another way of living or being. Their family members, their friends, their environment is set up so they continue repeating the same cycles, the same pattern. They're just treading water. And they come to believe that that is normal and that's the way it, it living is. So they create this whole story around how living the way they do is absolutely normal. And they le live at a level of panic and anxiety for the rest of their life, but they become accustomed to it. It's, it's embedded in who they are. And it's almost like you can never really get used to it. You kind of numb yourself out, but it takes so much energy and, it, and it's so exhausting. You just continue treading water and rinse and repeat. You just keep the cycle moving. I call it sleepwalking. Some days it doesn't work. Some days you might feel a little better and it's easier, but you get up the next day and it's same old, same old. You get to a point of enough is enough. I've got to make a shift. So you're swimming and you're trying and you're trying and you're trying and you're trying. And if you're like me, you continue trying and trying and trying but it doesn't ever get you to that place where you actually feel accomplished. You end up going, I've got the same problem and it's a different day, but it makes you feel good at some level because you're trying. Um, there's some people that just give up trying. There's some people that continue trying until the day they die. 
and they never really get there. When you get to the island, you can finally be completely be yourself, free to express yourself. You're not treading water. You can relax knowing you're there. You're not trying to survive. You're actually thriving. You're there. All the food, all the abundance, all the resources, everything is there. And you're not worried about surviving anymore. You have the energy and the focus to create. What is it that you want? What are you here to do? What are you here to experience? What are you here to contribute? And you might ask yourself, what's my gift to the world? And when you're finished suffering and trying, you can actually start enjoying and appreciating the island and the world you live in and the magic and the wonder and the beauty of it. It becomes a new state of being. That's what unblocking your energy does for you. When you learn how to release the energy blocks from your life, it's like getting to the island. I've brought a lot of people to the island, people who never thought in a million years that they could ever get to the island. Now they wake up in their own human stories, creating beautiful lives and circumstances and situations and relationships and careers for themselves. All their family members notice the changes that they've made. And they start living their life with every single day thinking, what can I create today? What kind of magic can I have in my life today? Who can I help? How can I expand? What can I learn? What can I experience different today? How can I live in alignment? How can I live and fulfill my purpose? How much more joy can I have? How much more love can I experience in my life? And if those become the questions that you ask yourself, you go from surviving to thriving. And that's what this one day experience is all about. And you can see the information below, all the details about what we're going to cover is in that description. This is really a compilation of my best techniques, the best methods and practices, and you're gonna get hands-on experience and practice working with me. And if you enroll in this training, you'll also receive a copy of my new book, The Essential Guide to Spiritual Awakening, in addition to receiving the quantum energy tools, which are the foundation, again, for all of the work I do. Not only will I share with you these invaluable tools, how to unblock your energy, how to read energy for yourself and heal yourself so that you can get to the island but you're actually going to sit there and experience with me working on some individuals and experience the collective shift, being able to remove the biggest blocks so that you can be able to move forward in your life and start manifesting the life you want so that you can start thriving on the island. I've been doing this energetic cleansing now um, for over 24 years and I've learned how to download these quantum packets of energy healing uh, for individuals and group live and virtual and i can tell you they pack a punch so um they're potent energy clearing um cleansing modalities and you will benefit from it by being part of our group and it and it gets really exciting so if you're at all interested in learning these techniques i promise you it's jam-packed experiential one day event. You're gonna learn the tools, you're gonna to get to practice, you're gonna receive my book, you're gonna receive the quantum energy tools and the recording to get you to the island all in one day. You're gonna walk away from this experience getting everything that you need and more. And I wished I would have had access or learned some of this information a long time ago so I could have skipped a whole lot of trauma and suffering along the way but you're gonna get it all in one day. I can't rewind time, but I can pay it forward. And that's why I'm doing this one day event. So you're gonna find all the information listed below. And I wanna tell you that it's a steal and you are not gonna find an offer like this anywhere out there with all of this amazing, powerful, experiential journey that you're gonna experience. And if you're one of my students and already worked with me, you know the value of everything that I do is 
over the top and I go well beyond what I offer and promise. So this will be pack full of everything that you need to know to get you to the island. Go ahead and check the information below and click that link, get registered. I know what's on the other side of that for you and how transformative and life-changing it can be for you. I've seen and felt and interacted with thousands of people that I've worked with over the years that have had massive success. And I want that for you too. I want you to stop swimming and trying and get to the island where you can have the things that you want in life. Even if at this moment, you don't know what that is, then we'll create that for you. The images and the visions and the enthusiasm to creating everything you want is buried deep within you somewhere below. <laughs> I know I've been there. I can't wait for what you're going to experience in this one day event. So go ahead and register right now and I'll look forward to seeing you on the event. And remember, when you heal yourself, you heal others too. And that heals the world.